bless you today and welcome to the community shall be restored television show I'm your host prophet Cedric Banks you know we have a dynamite show here for you today we have a young lady here that's 98 years old will be 99 years old December the 1st December the 1st mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know she have lived a long time so you talk about longevity here's a young lady that God has put before us and to show us and to inspire us that we can live a long time and Mother Green yes. welcome to the Community Shall Be Restored television show thank you <laughs> I'm grateful. It's God who keep me. I don't keep myself. It's God who keep me. Awesome. That's great. You know, you'll be 99 years old December the 1st. Mm -hmm. Mother Green, tell that TV audience how you feel. I feel great. <laughs> I really feel great. I, you know, I take one prescription medication. And... Um, but I do take my vitamins each day. And I eat my meals. And I'm, they said, old folks don't eat. You say, you don't eat when you get old. I said, this old lady eat. <laughs> yeah, I, I love to eat, but I eat my regular meals. I don't eat, I like junk food. I don't like, I like, and I don't, I don't do microwave. I cook from scratch. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. What are what are some of the what are some of the what are some of the main things that you eat that keeps you going for ninety nine years? That's a long time. <laughs> well, I have like I say, I have oatmeal for breakfast, and then I have um, like some kind of vegetable, like some greens, kind of greens, or, or any kind of greens that I have. Cooked. And I like I like beans, and I get plenty of them. <laughs> so and I I just love my vegetables and cornbread, and I cook my vegetables with um, just onions and olive oil. I don't use meat. Now, <laughs> olive oil mm -hmm. is real good. That's a nutrition right there. Mm -hmm. That's real good for you right there. Mm -hmm. Because I'm getting ready to start writing a lot of columns about nutrition. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have been doing a lot of columns, you know, because, you know, I'm connected with uh, a lot of the uh, governmental leaders, a lot of judges and things, and I have been doing a lot of columns on them. Oh, yeah. So now I'm getting ready to do columns on uh, nutrition. Like Olive oil is real good for you. That really builds and strengthens your health, olive oil. Mm -hmm. So and vegetables eating a lot of vegetables and oatmeal, you know, I can see how you live in a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I like my sweets, so I have to have something sweet. And, and another thing too, you know, you're you're ninety eight years old, you'll be ninety nine years old this year, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell a TV audience when you stopped driving. What, what how old were you when you stopped driving? Ninety seven. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's unbelievable, you know, 97 years old. And I did volunteer work, and I had to drive a long time, a ways to work. My children didn't know I had to drive that far. And I enjoyed it. I, I used to uh, help serve the homeless people. And I, I really enjoyed it, you know. It was an inspiration on me. And some of them, they would come in. Some of these were young men. They said, oh, Say you such an inspiration to us. I was just taking the tickets, just smile and speak to them, you know. Mm -hmm. No. So, and once I was standing in line at a 
I was at the, um, I think the hardware store, and this man standing behind me, he said, you really are a child of God. I said, I said, you go to my church, you be into my church? He said, no, I don't know where your church at. <laughs> I never seen him, he never seen me before. But it, I guess it was some, what I say, what you wear in your heart, it shows on your face. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's not what I say I am, but it's what my life tell you that I am. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful. Nice. Anybody got a question for Mother Green? Anybody, if y'all got a question for Mother Green, you can ask her. Cause you not on, you ain't on camera. Okay, Mother Green, where were you born? In uh, Detroit or somewhere else? Or? In Alabama. Where? On the farm. And I know what hard work is. But my dad was a farmer. I'm the second child of the ten. It was ten of us. Nine girls and one boy. What part of Alabama? Alabama? Selma. But we the uh, Sardis, Alabama was on, on out there in the country. I've been down there. Yeah. Well, you familiar with Selma? Uh, my stepmother was from Selma. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, we were born out in the country, um, Sardis, Alabama. And uh, as I tell my children, my father, well, he is cotton and corn, and we ate what we was raised on the farm. And we would work from you could see till you couldn't see. We didn't work by the hour. <laughs> Mm. Get up at You've been in Detroit a I long did. time. You've been in Detroit a long Since time. Since 1950. Huh. Mm. Yeah. Almost 70 years. Mm. Mm. One of my yeah. my youngest daughter was born here. Almost 70 years, mm. then, right? Okay. Yeah. Wow. I see where your head had uh, the jubilee the, in the in the in the uh, telegraph music this time. Right. Uh, right. About walking across it. Right. Um, well, you're really sharp, Mother Green. That's right. Are That's people right. generally um, nice to you? Or do you find a lot of I people? Mean, do you run into a lot of nice people? Or are oh, they yeah. nice to you? Yeah, I think that I said the good Lord put the nice people in my path. So people are so nice to me, you know. So, and I really meet nice people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So when you moved here uh, in the nineteen fifty, when you moved here in nineteen fifty, uh, what brought you here? Was it? Oh, uh, my husband, my first husband, he was in the army. He wanted to come here. I never wanted to come to Detroit mm -hmm. to this cold place. Right. And my <laughs> sister and my family were living here. And he kept writing her, tell her, and talk your sister into coming here. So then I finally, and my mother said, well, you should go where your husband is. <laughs> so he, cause he, he was getting out of the army. When he got out of the army, he wanted to come here. Mm -hmm. but, but when he, he died, and then uh, I got married to Pastor Green. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pastor Green, the. The church you go to, that's the one who founded that church? Yeah, he is the founder of the church. Okay. He baptized Clay. Oh, mm -hmm. you know Clay is my friend. Yeah, he told me. Okay. <laughs> he my friend too. Yeah. So I told him, I said, when you was a little boy in my Sunday school class, I didn't know someday you would be transferring me back and forth the church. And he picks you up every Sunday. Every huh? Sunday morning, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Mother Green, uh, you still you now you still teach Sunday school? Is that am I correct here? Well, when the teacher, you know, if the, if I have to, I don't. Cause we really like this. We don't have the children. We don't have no children. Uh, are you the superintendent? I'm the superintendent because I was the assistant superintendent, and the superintendent passed away. So then, that made me superintendent, mm -hmm. and uh, we elected uh, the Sunday school did elect Clay as the you know assistant superintendent. Right, yeah, he told me that mm -hmm. he got promoted to assistant superintendent. Clay mm -hmm. did tell he me that. He got promoted. <laughs> yeah, he got well, elected. Yeah, he got And the pastor put him on his trial deacon, too. Yeah, yeah, he but told he's me. he's well learned. He's always been real smart. He's a smart young man. 
Yeah. 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 So I'm so glad to have y'all come into my home. We, we, we glad. <laughs> we glad. We glad to I be am. here too. I would, cause then I said I couldn't have been downstairs because it'd be a lot of people sitting downstairs and it wouldn't be no privacy. Right. So that's why I said up in the family room. But right. I, <clears throat> my daughter came by. She had a few of us. She's a musician, and she came by and she said I couldn't get you because my phone was not working. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said they. And she went to look at the room. She said, they having a party right now. I said, okay. I said, well, I see if they would come in my apartment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So how is it uh, teaching Sunday school and being the superintendent? How mm -hmm. is it? It's wonderful. Give us a little for the TV audience, because it's going in the paper, too, oh, in a few weeks. Oh, I'm telling so. the truth. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's wonderful. I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. <clears throat> and I really enjoy working with the young people, the children and young people. That, that's, that's, that's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I like, I, t I train many of the children and young people at Urshad. I like the Urshad. You still lost her? I just stopped when I had that fall. <laughs> I stopped. How long ago was that? That was uh, the third of April last year. And you just stopped ushering last year. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anybody else got a question for Mother Green? <laughs> um, Mother, does longevity run in your family? I didn't understand you. Um, how what? long did your mom and dad live? And you know, oh, other people dad, in your dad, family. You know, he was just seventy-seven. My mother lived eighty. She was eighty-six. Mm. And she died in 86. Mm. And my daddy died in 68, so they had the same number. Your daddy died in 68? Wow, you just a, she just a genius with numbers, ain't she? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> see how sharp she is? That's amazing. Yeah. You know? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, but uh, I'm grateful that he had given me a long life. Mm. And I'm able to do for myself. And I close in my right mind. And each morning, the first thing I do when I get out of bed, I still get on my knees and say, thank you, Lord. You ate me to sleep last night, then you woke me up this morning. I'm still closing my right mind. I got strand in my hands. I got strand in my feet. I can walk around. I'm grateful. <laughs> yeah. And you know, that's a blessed Mother Green mm -hmm. because you got a lot of people out here. They're not grateful. They just that. living every day, waking up. Don't yeah. think they don't. They're I not. Woke up myself. You don't wake up. You couldn't wake up if the Lord. If the Lord ain't have His hands on you. Hallelujah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. Anybody else? Question for Mother Green. We gonna do this with uh, all three of us today. So, um, so while you were. Growing up and everything in the South, is that where you got your foundation in God? Oh yeah, um, when I was eleven years old. Mm -hmm. mm, eleven. Wow, you she remember everything like it was just yesterday. You see that? <laughs> wow. Oh, man, was it a, a specific experience that happened when you were eleven, and you just knew? Well, I, uh, you know, I have uh, when I was eleven, I, but. Ever since I've been knowing myself, when I was even younger, when I was four years old or five, I used to, <laughs> I used to, um, my grandmother, she, um, you know, we had a wood pile where you um, have to chop the wood and have to make the finest store, and I would go out and pick up the little chip, make up for my grandmother, make a fire for her. And then when I got 10 years old, that's when I started cooking. <laughs> yeah, we would have now our meal in the morning with milk and bread. I would chew in the milk. Yeah, my older sisters were one older than me. I'm the second child. She was supposed to cook the bread. She would be so long coming in the kitchen to cook the bread, and I didn't want to be late for school. One morning I cooked the bread. I've been cooking the bread ever since. <laughs> 
You know, Mother Green was so amazing. You can remember back when you was four years yeah. old. Yeah, I can't remember back when I was four years old. Well, you older than me, and I can't remember back when I was four. That's amazing. You and know. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, my grandmother had other riders in her hand, and she couldn't get her hand up to her head. So I would uh, go and comb my hair for her so she could go to Sunday school. And trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, Mother Green, uh, have you been back to visit? I know. I usually go every, Sardis. every year. I usually I've been going until I had to fall because I travel by myself. Mm -hmm. I uh, I didn't go. Wow. Uh, this year I usually go in February every year. I would go down to visit my people. I would fly down, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> you know the, all they have. My uh, nieces and nephews, they young, and they said, uh, Aunt Addie, she can stand up straight and touch her toes and don't bend her knees. And mm -hmm. I had to do to show them how I could do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I still do you can, that. You can still do that? Uh -huh. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't wait for my mother to see this article. Wow. <laughs> and then I, uh, I still take my exercise. And I told him, I said, yeah, you have to lay flat on the floor. And then you put one foot up, as high as you could get it, and count to 10. I said, but you don't do it one time. You have to do it 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> so, but when you take your exercise, that help you. I said, it help you to be super. Your joints don't get stiff. Mm -hmm. That's right. Your joint. Now that's good. <laughs> your joints won't get stiff when you do your exercise. Mm -hmm. That's how, why it's so important to do exercise because your joints won't get stiff. Mm -hmm. So oh, what is it? Uh, Mother Green, have you been on the uh, Edmund Pettus Bridge down there in oh, Selma? Oh, many times I've been across the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> were, were you marching? Uh, you just no, I, do, I was, uh, when they marched across it, I was living here. I just had come here. Uh -huh. I was living here when they marched across the bridge. Mm -hmm. But then when we would go there, we, we would go into town later. When, you know, the people would go there to shop. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So anyway, but I know all about it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. I see uh, one of my nephews. It was a judge there in Selma, George Walker. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, I got a lot of nieces and nephews there, but my family, my sister and I, it, it were 10 of us, it's just four of us living there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my youngest sister and the one next to her, and my seventh sister. And I'm wow. the oldest one. Mm -hmm. You sure are accurate with numbers, yeah. though, isn't she? Her seventh, <laughs> her seventh sister. The seventh. Yeah. You mean the seventh born? Yeah, the seventh born. Okay, wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's amazing. I can recall when Prophet Banks was born, I took my sister to the hospital. Oh, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, and I told them in those days, I remember when my dad, usually when people would die, if it was a man, they would s s come get me. You had to walk there and wouldn't have no phone to tell my dad to come and help us. They said swallow them, I guess, bathe them and clean them up. They didn't have no, they didn't have no, uh, they didn't no take them to no undertaker. Oh. Uh -huh. And then if it's a woman, they would have my mother to come and help us swallow them. And daddy, I remember my daddy taking the, the, uh, her, the, her, the box with the person that's in to the church in the wagon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They used to you leave the have the bodies in the living room in some places. <laughs> no, they didn't keep well one in our living room, I know. <laughs> I heard people say that that yeah. but I don't know where to keep it, but I know that's what uh, that's the way they I, I know they did not embalm them. Oh they didn't? How they could they embalm them? They would do that in a, I guess a bedroom soon after they yeah. died. But I know, you know, like I said, whatever 
uh, they would do, like I say, if it's a man, they sent for my dad to come and help. They said, wow. And then if a woman, they called my mother to come and help when somebody died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I seen daddy, they take me. My mother and dad, I had wonderful parents. I really did. Mm -hmm. That's good. But my uh, mother, she um, she always said, oh, I don't want to get where my children have to take care of me and do for me. I just asked the Lord to take me if I get where I can't help myself. So she really wasn't helpless, helpless, but she needed help, you know, to do things. And uh, so my cousin called her. She lived in Florida. That was on Saturday night. They were talking, and they, my sister said they talked about an hour. And my cousin had seen this funeral. She said, well, so many flowers. And my mother said, that was my funeral. And it said, so many people was there. She said, that was me. She was sick. The next morning, Irma said, this is my seventh sister. She got up and she heard Mama said, Mama, what's the matter? She said, I'm just sick as I can be. And she said, she was just praying, Lord, take me now. Take me now, Lord. And my sister said, before I got my clothes on, she is gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. Wow. And you know, <clears throat> I've heard a lot, you know, when people suffering real mm -hmm. bad, they will begin to ask God to just remove, take mm -hmm. them away from here. They can't take it no more. Mm -hmm. And God will take them away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He'll grant you your will. Well, she so I've heard a lot about that. Mm -hmm. But she wasn't down sick. It's good. I, so but she didn't want to be she, here with, she in always, that condition. She always said that. I just asked, I want the Lord to take me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Well, yeah. Mother Green, you dress so sharp. Where do yeah. you shop at? <laughs> Angels. <laughs> oh, Angels uh, Department Store? Uh, yeah. Yeah, when uh, Fashion Center was in Sixth On oh, what, uh, Dequinder and Eight Mile? I don't shop at that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> they follow you around in the store. Okay, yeah, because that's what. I, cause shop, you... I shop at the one and a half trim it. Okay. Oh, Ham Tramit. Because, you know, I live at the Quinder and State Fair. Oh, yeah. Right off of 8 Mile. Right so, of eight and they got an Angels on the Quinder and 8 Mile. It. I know. I've been in there. Oh, you've been in there? That's right. That's why I shop at Uncle mm -hmm. Al, uh, the uh, Imperial on the Quinder and 8 Mile. Because mm -hmm. I live at the Quinder and 8 Mile. Right yeah, at you, the Quinder. You live right there. Well, that's yeah. not too far. I'm right in your area. Yeah, it's not We're right far. in the same area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this, my daughter, she told I, I, I was honored, being honored, and the, uh, the woman, no, they did for my birthday, my 90th birthday. She gave me and she said, well, i get you a dress. Go go and get you a suit. And I got the suit. I like the suit, and they had a hat. She said, I didn't tell you I can pay for the hat. And I said, get the hat. I like hats. I wear hats all the time. Yeah, I so, see. But I got this one. This is for my angels. And, but I'm shopping at the one in Hamtramck. In Hamtramck, yeah, I know where that one is in Hamtramck. Well, they know me there too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is uh, yeah. amazing, Mother Green. Mm -hmm. You shop at the one in Hamtramck, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, because they got one in Hamtramck and then they got one over there on 8 Mile in the Quinta. Yeah, I know where that one is. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I always did like to look nice, and I told my children, I said, when I was young, when I was early teen, I used to buy. You could get three yards of material for, for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> and I had this lady up make me a little dress for 50 cents. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> they make a dress for 50 cents. 50 cents. <laughs> wow, you got a great memory. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and now they almost charge you $50. <laughs> <laughs> right. Times done change. They that, know that yeah. they can get the money, I guess. Yeah, they know that they can get the money. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but that was a lot of money in those days. Mother Green, do you have Comcast? No, I don't. Okay, well, your show, the producer here, Teresa, she'll be telling you when your show will be coming on. It comes on Comcast every Saturday night at 8 p.m. on Comcast oh, okay, Channel 90. You might know someone who had Comcast. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah. So you, she'll let you know when your show comes okay, on. Okay, then. And then she'll probably drop you a paper off because you're going to be in okay. the paper, too. Oh, okay, then. Yeah. Everybody said, well, you let me know what paper it is, so I'm 
I hope you sell a lot of Telegram. <laughs> we should, Teresa probably go give you what? Probably about 30. How many copies you oh, gonna give her? Be fine. Uh, however many you want. What? You got about 30 people you can give them to? Mm -hmm. 20 anyway. You, well, you got that many people following you? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You in the church. So. I got more than that far. How many you need? How many papers you need? Well, you just give me the 30 if you, that's what you give. 30. You, you, can, you can get 30 out? Mm -hmm. Give her 30 then, Teresa. All right. So, anyway, I guess. <laughs> They're going to pay for them. I'm going to pay for them. No, no, no. These are free. You don't owe me. You don't owe me. pay for them. Yeah, you don't owe no money, okay? Okay. Then. These free. Okay. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good when you ain't got to spend no money, right? <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I really appreciate it. Because I, mean, I, I started to tell you, I thought that because in the uh, woman, in, in, we have an organization, it's a woman district, right. prospect district women association. So last year, somebody took my name in, I was one of the honorees. Uh, and I had to have uh, I, an article, and I wrote. I, I write poetry too. That's my. That's oh, yeah. what I do. For wow. I oh wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I uh, and she had, and I was in the paper then, and she wrote the, and they honored me, and I put my, my name in. <laughs> Well, said, somebody was thinking about you. Well, they said that I deserved it. You yeah, know, you do. Because I'm faithful, you know, in this district. We only meet once a month. Mm, we meet at different churches. Mm. Mother Green, do you have any advice for the youth? Because it seems like, you know, the youth needs a lot of wisdom from your generation. I didn't understand. Do you have any advice for the youth, for young people? Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot. Right? <laughs> yeah, not that, huh? <laughs> to learn, uh, yeah, to be respectful and obedient to your parents right. and others. And everybody. Just be respectful. Because right. some of us are so dis disrespectful. Disrespectful to anybody. Yeah. Some of the girls are even going around with their pants down. They want to be Oh, bullied. no. <laughs> You know, it's bad enough for the boys to do it, yeah. you know. It's bad enough. It's wrong. It's, right. They don't know what they're doing. That's not a, a nice thing. It right. don't look nice. They're dirty on the well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You say, Mother, dirty underwear showing uh, now. You know how they wear their pants uh, uh, sagging off. Well. Mm -hmm. Dirty underwear showing you hear that in my ring. I've seen my, that many my, times. My pastor would tell him to come to church, no sagging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one of my nephews just last week, he was a school teacher, and two boys were fighting. He, he tried to stop them from fighting, and then they knocked him down. He had to go to the hospital. They knocked him down? Mm -hmm. They hurt him. He had to go to the hospital. Wow. So the children, he had says, he said, in another year, I'm going to retire. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, Anybody else question for Mother Green? Uh, yeah. Do you think that uh, the former mayor, Coleman Young, do you think that he did a good job in, uh, you know, did I helping think blacks did a move good job? ahead? I think so. You think mm -hmm. so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. What Maybe about Mayor Duggan? So. The new mayor. Pardon me. What about Mayor Duggan, our new mayor? Well, he's doing the best he can, I guess. That's what we said. Yeah, say. yeah, that's what we said, Uncle Al. Mm -hmm. You right on target, man. <laughs> well, we got one minute left. Okay, we winding it up now. Okay. <laughs> we only got one minute left. Hey, I've been your host today. What a show! This young lady will be ninety-nine years old, mm -hmm. December the first this year. Mm -hmm. And she's sharp as a razor. <laughs> I'm gonna cut you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, You're very sharp. I can't wait for my mother to see this article. And uh, I've been your host today, Prophet Cedric Banks. We had a tremendous show here today. We'll see you next Saturday at 8 p.m. on Comcast Channel 90. All right. <laughs>